of Sandy Koufax walked out to the mound to pitch a faithful ninth, where he turned in a no-hitter. But tonight, September the 9th, 1965, he made the toughest walk of his career, I'm sure, because through eight innings, he has pitched a perfect game. He has struck out 11. He has retired 24 consecutive batters. And the first man he will look at is catcher Chris Cruz, big right-hand hitter. Fly to center, grounded to short. Dick Krasuski is now at second base, and Koufax ready and delivers. Curve ball for a strike. <laughs> oh, and one to count to Chris Cruz. Out on deck to pinch hit is one of the men we mentioned earlier as a possible Joey Amalfitano. Here's the strike one pitch to Cruz. Fastball swung on and missed. Strike two. And you can almost taste the pressure now. Koufax lifted his cap, ran his fingers through his black hair, then pulled the cap back down, fussing at the bill. Cruz must feel it too as he backs out, heaves a sigh, took off his helmet, put it back on, and steps back up to the plate. Krasuski is over to his right to fill up the middle. Kennedy is deep to guard the line. The strike two pitch on the way. Fastball outside, ball one. Krug started to go after it and held up, and Torborg held the ball high in the air, trying to convince Vargo, but Eddie said, no, sir. One and two, the count to Chris Krug. It is 9.41 p.m. on September the 9th. The one-two pitch on the way. Curve ball, tap foul, off to the left of the plate. The Dodgers defensively. In this spine-tingling moment, Sandy Koufax and Jeff Torboy. The boys who will try and stop anything hit their way. Wes Parker, Dick Krasuski, Maury Wills, and John Kennedy. The outfield of Lou Johnson, Willie Davis, and Ron Fairley. And there's a 29,000 people in the ballpark and a million butterflies. 29,139 paid. Go back into his windup and the 1 2 pitch. Fastball foul back out of play. In the Dodger dugout, Al Ferrara gets up and walks down near the runway. And it begins to get tough to be a teammate and sit in the dugout and have to watch. Sandy, back of the rubber, now tows it. All the boys in the bullpen straining to get a better look as they look through the wire fence in left field. One and two, the count to Chris Cruz. Koufax, feet together, now to his wind-up in the one-two pitch. Fastball outside, ball two. A lot of people in the ballpark now are starting to see the pitches with their hearts. The pitch was outside. Torborg tried to pull it over the plate, but Vargo, an experienced umpire, wouldn't go for it. Two and two, the count to Chris Cruz. Sandy reading signs into his windup. Two, two pitch. Fastball got him swinging. Colfax has struck out 12. He is two outs away from a perfect game. Here is Joe Amalfitano to pinch it for Don Kessinger. Amalfitano is from Southern California, from San Pedro. He was an original bonus boy with the Giants. Joey's been around, and as we mentioned earlier, he has helped to beat the Dodgers twice, and on deck is Harvey Keene. Kennedy is tight to the bag at third. The fastball a strike. <laughs> oh, and one with one out in the ninth inning, one to nothing Dodgers. Sandy reading into his windup and the strike one pitch. Curveball, tap foul. Oh, and two. And Amalfitano walks away and shakes himself a little bit and swings the bat. And Koufax with a new ball takes a hitch at his belt and walks behind the mound. I would think that the mound at Dodger Stadium right now is the loneliest place in the world. Sandy fussing 
Looks in to get his sign. 0 and 2 to Amalfitano. The strike two pitch to Joe. Fastball swung on and missed strike three. He is one out away from the promised land. And Harvey Keene is coming up. So Harvey Keene is batting for Bob Henley. The time on the scoreboard is 9.44. The date, September the 9th, 1965. And Koufax working on veteran Harvey Keene. Sandy into his windup and the pitch of fastball for a strike. He has struck out, by the way, five consecutive batters. And that's gone unnoticed. Sandy ready in the strike one pitch. Very high, and he lost his hat. He really forced that one. That's only the second time tonight where I have had the feeling that Sandy threw instead of pitched, trying to get that little extra. And that time, he tried so hard, his hat fell off, he took an extremely long stride to the plate, and Torborg had to go up to get it. One and one to Harvey Keene. Now he's ready. Fastball high, ball two. You can't blame a man for pushing just a little bit now. Sandy backs off, mops his forehead, runs his left index finger along his forehead, dries it off on his left pants leg. All the while, Keene just waiting. Now Sandy looks in. Into his windup and the 2-1 pitch to Keene. Swung on and missed, strike two. It is 9.46 p.m. Two and two to Harvey Keene. One strike away. Sandy into his windup. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed the perfect game. field. It is 9.46 p.m. in the city of the Angels, Los Angeles, California. And a crowd of 29,139. Just sitting in to see the only pitcher in baseball history to hurl four no-hit, no-run games. He has done it four straight years and now he capped it on his fourth no-hitter. He made it a perfect game. And Sandy Koufax, whose name will always remind you of strikeouts, did it with a flourish. He struck out the last six consecutive batters. So when he wrote his name in capital letters in the record books, that K stands out even more than the O-U-F-A-X. 